don't you follow us. This isn't sketchy at all. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. This is where it murderers you. Max, go. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. <laughs> Step Dildo! Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. No, man. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. Yuck, I love you. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> Nice, nice combo. combo. <laughs> you can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. All right. Find me some bottles. Okay. Bottle. Syringes. Oh, gross! So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Okay. Maybe we want to observe things here. Maybe find something. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. I'm gonna use a board as a bridge. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Doesn't really matter. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. Bracelet. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. That kind of hurts. Welcome to hell. Go twos. I'm gonna look at this one. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Mm -mm. Mixtape. We'll listen to that in a minute. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Ouch. Oh, there you are, little Got a bottle. bottle. Trying to play hide and seek? Got it. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Oof. And the music cut so off. Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I don't trust the people in this town. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Yeah, I'm not going to write on that. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Psychedelic apocalypse. Nope, I don't want to go there. All right, turn around. All right, I don't think I can... I don't want to walk on the tracks. It's probably a bad idea. Eat shit and live. Thanks for the tip. We've seen that before. Bird. Bird, 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 bird. Huh. Scared me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get locked in here, I'm aren't sure I? This is a popular part. Called it. Is there something in there? I 
It didn't fall this time? Why didn't it fall that time? Boom. Only three bottles left. Alright. Are you serious? Okay. Very convenient. Warren! Okay. Oh man, that's a lot of writing. I'm to Max. Hey, I'm busy right now. Talk to you later. Is Dr. Graham in the house? Serious science questions. Make house calls for you. What's up, pup? What's on serious science face? What do you know about relativity, wormholes, time travel? So now Dr. Who or Doc Brown? Or what class? I never got any cool time science homework. And I know this shit. Explain detail later if you actually help me. Like time attacks are infinite, plus I have unlimited messaging. I'll make you a list of potential books and websites and movies. I'm intrigued by your newest interest in science. You know I like sci-fi. Just think of think hard about it, okay? Hit me up anytime if you have any questions. I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. Nice. No worries about not going ape with me. Thought it'd be cool to take a road trip in the new wheels. I'll just drive in circles around town. I'm sorry, Warren. Hard week. I still you. Yes, you do. Let me know if you change your mind. Okay. There's probably some stuff we have to read. Hey, it didn't count the doggo picture. There's a gun. Is this with Chloe? Okay. Hey, Joyce! Talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right back in the old Two Whales Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Now she smiles at her hij hijinks now, but she still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle soon after William died. I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed off at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce lives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind, one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites, you can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously it didn't work out the way with Chloe, I hope they will treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. Alright. Before catching on the bus to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to Dave. Uh, read that. I think. No, I didn't. Nathan talked to me nervous. Yeah, that was alright. Chloe was late, duh, so I was hoping to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the feud hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't even get guilt trip me on not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce wasn't happy about Chloe getting busted with weed. I really should have stepped up and taken the hit instead of Chloe. I feel bad that Joyce has to defend David for laying smack down on his own stepdaughter. William has always been so kind and gentle with us. Can't even imagine how Chloe would be if he hadn't died. So much drama and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up. More bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in a bathroom yesterday. It makes me happy to see her smile, but the smile meant trouble since all she really wanted was for me to show off my new my rewind power. So I did, and I have to admit, it felt like a total boss, except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe wants more, so she demanded we go to our top secret lair. She still had to get she still had to get pissed off at me because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy, I answered I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Yeah! And, uh, someone's in trouble. Gotta, gotta know. Like, I could be saying that and be like, yo. Chloe, like, I love you, I but... Go that way. God damn it. Um, I want to hang out with you, but there's some priority shit going on, and... It's no reflection on you or the reflection on how I deem our friendship or relationship. But, there's priorities, you know? And, uh, right now, this is one. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Alright. 
I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Oh, did he die? In a car wreck. How far can I walk? Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Where? I saw no dough. Don't see no dough. That dough is the perfect photo op. Where? I see no deer. There's a stump. Oh, there it is. It's so it's quiet cool. and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. All right, we saw the deer. She's staring at me as if we have a connection. Don't fear the flashy thing. It seems invisible. That could have been just the camera being goofy. What is that? That better not be gunfire because it does not sound like gunfire. Looking for things. This was an old school punk shirt. All right, nothing here. Washing machine. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. That's cool. That actually kind of tells you if you're taking long enough. You don't just sit here running around for hours. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Man, the game or the atmosphere they build in this, this game is, is amazing. This is the scariest thing here. Are you sure? This looks oh, terrible. Ah! They left you here all alone. Creepy doll. Every car has its own tale and history. I don't like creepy dolls. Bottle. Look what we have here. All right, so we found Cheaper it. I want to observe. I want to observe in case there's anything left. That lit up. Maybe not. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. The hush puppies? The I don't think I've ever had a hush puppy. Page. Nope, I don't want to go I there. I didn't want to go there. I don't want to go that way. Okay, I can't go behind the truck. Okay. We'll grab that bottle in a second. I don't want to accidentally find Chloe and be like, hey! I want to make sure everything's good. You see what I mean? She was right there. Those shells look fresh. Alright. I think I've observed enough. All right, let me go get this bottle. Hey. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Bottle, this is mine. <sighs> Stupid bottle. Damn it. Okay, I'm down a bottle. Oh wait, undo. 
where to find bottles. Maybe in an old refrigerator. There we go. All right. Thing. A crate. There we go. Aha! You see that, Chloe? One you more bottle have. to go. Oh crap! I thought that was the last one. Totally did not count properly. <gasps> I got him for Kate. Guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video. No, 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 no. I asking you your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that's not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really need a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. Oh. Please. Please be okay. Seriously, please be okay. Creepy sound. Uh, I was just feeling better about Kate. Now it made me all worried again. Game, giving me the anxieties. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God, or the gods. So bow. So bow. <laughs> we can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No. No way. Not using my powers for I that. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic. Boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm yeah. just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Hmm. You're a, you're a bull in a china closet, Chloe. Oh, hey. Did I say china closet? <laughs> okay, same thing, I guess. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. Move. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Oh, I made a thing. Okay. Found it. Kind of want to know what's over here real quick. Like that. The Bigfoots were here. Nope. Lost bottle. Moin. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Kevin. Voila. Or I can sit here. And relax. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Makes me happy. I like the music in the game. The atmosphere they build is fantastic. Syringes. There's, oh, those are the ones on the ground. Uh, but I think we are going to call the episode or the uh, stream here, guys. It's five minutes before time, and I did just see a save symbol. I think something's about to fire off again, so uh, I'm kind of going to push it off till tomorrow. Hey, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you a little upset about that? Are we, we're gonna get into something good. Don't tell me. No spoilers. No spoilers. Um, I'm excited. I'm really, really, really worried about Kate. Um, she's the only thing that I want to save in this game. Like, legit. I've been lurking. Had to make dinner. I got you. I appreciate the lurk. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for the raid. Uh, that was fantastic, and very much appreciated.
Um, we will be on again tomorrow, same time. Um, so we'll be continuing this game. I, I picked up the rest of the or uh, the rest of the episodes for the base game. Uh, so we'll be definitely playing through this. I did notice there was a Life is Strange 2, and there's some DLCs for this game as well. So uh, next week we were scheduled to start Divinity Original Sin 2 playthrough. Um, that's been on the schedule for about a month and a half now. So we may just finish this game through the week. Um, if we don't finish it by Thursday, we'll do a bonus stream on the weekend to finish it up. And then we'll maybe switch over to uh, Divinity. And then at some point we'll pick up the other DLCs and stuff, depending on what you guys are feeling, you know, just let me know. Let me know what you feel. But uh, we will uh, continue this. I'm liking it. It's it's got. It's really good. I it really makes my heart hurt, <laughs> um, especially a lot of the decisions like there's no obvious good choice and either either choice could actually be bad. And it's just a gamble in more, most circumstances, and I kind of like that. But I also kind of don't want something bad to happen to Kate. That will ruin me. I guarantee it. It's an amazing series. It's like a movie. Yeah. Um, Sweet, you just joined the channel. We've played a couple games like this before. Um, I can't think of the other one. The other one is uh, you're sitting on a car that's hanging off the side of a cliff. Um... That one's good. That one we played a month or so ago. And that was a one day episode or live stream. That was really good. Um, Fragger, if you remember that one, feel free to shout it out if you're still in chat. Um, last day of June. If any of you guys have never played that, I would recommend it. It is so good. The music is amazing. The story is great. It has some really fun puzzling to do. Um, it's up... It, it ranks up there with this game in in the story kind of thing. It's fantastic. I would highly recommend it if you haven't checked it out. Um, crap, I, I can't. Never Alone? That doesn't sound right. I don't know. You can check out my YouTube channel, and it's got a picture of a car, uh, I believe, on the cover. That That's the other one. Anyway... Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I hope you guys are liking it. If you are, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. Uh, but more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt them, shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much you need. Anyway, I am Basive. Thank you for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! I forgot. Sorry. Sweet beans. Thank you for the party rate of eight. I appreciate it. Yuri, shout out to you for those 10 bits. And you as well, Anna. Thank you for them 46 bits. You're all amazing. And thank you guys for tuning in. I always forget these shout outs at the end. So, uh, goofy little thank you for watching music background whilst I scream into the mic. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.